Hey guys, we're moving on to question three now. So this question looks at maps and map interpretation. Okay, so let's see what it says. It says an extra D, so again, we're using the an extra, shows the location of Lizette's property, marked H, which includes the house, on the map of Mandela Park. The new extension is indicated using dark border lines as shown on the map. An enlargement of the section of the main map is also shown. Okay, so here's the map. There's H, so that's where Lizette is chilling. Well, that's where she'd be living. And then this is a, basically a blown up version, right? A, a, what do you call this? A zoomed in version of H over there. Okay, so let's see what the questions say. So it says, if the numbering system for the properties follows the same pattern as shown on the main map, determine the street address of the property marked H. Okay, so let's see how we're going to figure this out. Okay, so... We see it goes 17, 18, right? So this will be 19. So it's basically alternating like this. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. 26 will be somewhere here. This will be 27, 29, 31. So it's going up in twos, but in odd numbers here. 33, 35, 37. Okay, so you need to notice that you have that um, sort of evens on all one side and odds on the other side. Okay, so H is going to be 33 Quella Street. Okay, so that's quite a nice question as well, but it is a question that requires a little bit of interpretation, right? We need to figure out what's going on the going on, on the map. Okay, so 33 Quella Street. Perfect. Let's now move on to the next question, which is a little bit more involved. It says use the measurements. Use the measurements and the given scale to determine the actual dimensions in meters of the rectangular property, right? The property, not just the house, marked H. Okay, so let's do this. Okay, let's get our ruler. It's always good to get a ruler when, you, when you're doing these questions. My ruler is very broken, but it will do the job. Okay, so I'm seeing, so I'm saying 22, it looks like 22, right? 22 millimeters. Right, by, what's that? It's like nine, nine millimeters. Okay, so I'm getting 22 by um, nine, okay? And it's asked us for the dimensions, right? So it hasn't asked us for the area. It's basically asked us to say, what do each of these dimensions translate into in meters? Okay, so let's um, quickly look at the scale. Okay, so the scale is kind of like, 20, I'm going to say 25, right? I'm going to say 25 millimeters. So 25 millimeters equals 30 meters. Okay. So now we have all the information we need. We just need to do a little bit of manipulation. Okay. So let's write what we have. We say scale is 25 millimeters to 30 meters. Okay. Now let's just make this a little bit easier for us, right? So let's put this into, let's put them both into centimeters, right? So this is going to be 2.5 centimeters, okay? Because we know that um, millimeters to centimeters, we divide by 10. Then meters into centimeters, we times by 100. So 30 times 100 gives us 3,000 centimeters. So it has asked us to give our answer in meters. That's okay, not a problem. I just want us to put it in a form that is a little bit easier for us to use. If you don't like this form, do it your own way, right? This is just one way of doing it. I show you options, you can do your own way. Okay, so we know we have 22 millimeters on the one side, right? We said that was the length of H, okay? Which equals 2.2 centimeters. Okay, but let's actually just simplify this ratio a little bit, right? Let's make it one centimeter. So if I have 2.5 centimeters equals 3,000 centimeters, how, how many um, centimeters does one centimeter equal, right? So we're going to divide this side by 2.5 to get to one, and we're going to divide that side by 2.5, okay? So 3,000 divided by 2.5, so we know that one centimeter equals 1,200 centimeters, okay? So now we have 2.2 centimeters and we want to figure out what it equals on the map, okay? So to get from one centimeter to 2.2, right, we have to um, multiply by 2.2, okay? So if we've multiplied this by 2.2, then we have to multiply that 
by 2.2. Okay, so what I want you to do is I want you to put that into your calculator. Okay, so say one, say two point, um, say one two zero zero times by two point two. Okay, so we know that that length is going to be twenty six, twenty six forty centimeters, right? But we have to convert this back into meters because they've asked us to do it in meters. So divide by a hundred. So it is 26.4 meters. So that's the length, right? So we've done the length, but we need to now do the width, right? So this is the length, but now we're doing H and we're doing the width. So the width, we said it was nine millimeters, which equals 0 0.9 centimeters because I divided it by 10 to get to centimeters. So now I say 0 0.9 centimeters equals how many centimeters in reality? Now, we're going, we're going to use the same ratio over here. I'm just going to highlight it so we remember what we're using. So what do I have to multiply 1 by to get to 0 0.9? I have to multiply it by 0 0.9. Exactly. So over here, we're going to say that amount times by 0 0.9. So what is it going to be? 1, 2, 0, 0 times 0 0.9. So it's going to be 1, 0, 8, 0 centimeters. Okay. Again, they've asked us for it in meters. Divide this by 100 gives us 10.8 meters, right? So the dimensions of her property are 26.4 meters by 10.8 meters. Okay, so it's all about ratios here. A little bit tricky, but again, try to get a ratio that you are comfortable with and then just use it to solve your problem. Okay, don't always think that you have to work with the ratio in the way that it's given, right? Ratios you can change as long as what you do to the one side, you do to the other side. Okay, let's now go on to the last question of this question. It says Lizette stated that the enlargement, right? So that this guy here, remember this is the enlargement, is five times bigger than the corresponding section on the map. On the main map, verify, showing all calculations whether a statement is valid. So we need to do some maths, and then we need to state whether it is true or not. Okay. So we know that on the map, so on map, right, we had the length equaling 22 mil. Oh, sorry, that was millimeters. I wrote <laughs> meters above there. It's millimeters, right? So we had 22 millimeters, and we had the width equaling 9 millimeters. So let's see what it is on the enlargement okay so we want the length again and we want the width let's get our ruler okay my very broken ruler okay so our length right our length is 60 millimeters 60 millimeters and our width is uh, 26 millimeters Okay, so let's figure out what the ratio is, right? So we say map to enlargement, and we're just looking at the length here. So on the map, it was 22, and on the enlargement, it was 60, right? So let's make this one, right? And let's see how much bigger the enlargement is than the map. So what did we do to 22 to get to one? We divided by 22. What we do on the one side, we do on the other. Okay, so we get 2.72. Okay, so we see that it's definitely not 5, not for the length anyway. So let's just check with the width as well. Right, so we're going to say map to enlargement. So it's 9 millimeters to 26. Let's convert it into a ratio of this form. We divide by 9 on both sides. What is 26 divided by 9? Okay, it's 2.88. So again, both of them, it's nowhere close to five, right? So we say to Lizette, sorry, Lizette, Lizette is wrong. Okay, Lizette is wrong. It's somewhere between 2.7 and 2.8 times bigger. Okay, so Lizette is wrong. Okay, so again, we're using ratios here, but it's all with maps. Okay, so it's very important that you understand how to leverage a ratio. Cool. Let's move on to the next question.